Today I'm reporting on the Early Years Foundation Stage Review, which I've been doing since last July. I was asked by Sarah Tether to review the Early Years Foundation Stage, which was introduced in 2008 with a commitment that it be looked at again in 2010. So I spent the last nine months talking to experts, considering the evidence, and talking to all of the people who are concerned in early years, including parents and practitioners, uh, to think about what it is that we need to do to make sure that it's, we have the best possible um, start in life for preschool children. I found that the Early Years Foundation stage is something that overwhelmingly has been successful. Um, pr parents, practitioners and the people involved in the Early Years Foundation stage like it. They think that it's something that they understand, they recognise, it makes lots and lots of sense to them and it has undoubtedly um, driven standards up for children. Um, on, the, on the downside, there's an awful lot of it um, and one of the things that, 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 that we've looked at is how can we retain what's really good about it but take away some of the bureaucracy and some of the repetition and some of the, 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 the more bureaucratic bits that people struggle with and that's what we've done. The key recommendations that I'm making are that we reduce the early learning goals from the existing number of 69 right down to 17. We don't lose any, any of the good that are in the early learning goals, but we, 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 we create a better narrative by doing that. Um, I'm recommending that we introduce a small check for children between the ages of two, two and a half to be considered um, by early years practitioners to be given to parents so they can think about whether or not they have concerns about their children and if they do they can talk to their health visitor or their GP and get the extra support that their children might need um, and we slim down or I'm recommending that we slim down the early years foundation stage profile for children before they go into key stage one which will help teachers to engage with where children are in terms of their development so that their transition into key stage one is an easier one.